for George Heath. How are you today? Being able to walk again is a very big deal. Last July, the Tupelo resident was on a family vacation in Florida when he had an encounter with a shark. I was out in the water and got uh, gashed on the ankle uh, by a small shark. Uh, which led to a trip to the emergency room and a tetanus shot. All seemed well until three weeks later when Heath woke up with joint pains. A few days after that, he was in the ER. The neurologist came in and said I had Guillain-Barre. That disorder occurs when the body's immune system mistakenly attacks part of the nervous system. It leads to inflammation that causes muscle weakness. The avid runner could not even stand up. Heath was prescribed immunoglobulin therapy, and as his condition slowly improved, he began physical and occupational therapy, and he made a vow to stay optimistic. I said at the very beginning, you know, I couldn't control or do anything about why I was where I was. I just was going to work hard, uh, I was going to be positive every day, and I was going to pray, and, you know, I figured those things will get me to where I am right now. Since January, Heath has been out of his wheelchair and tackles his physical therapy sessions with intensity. His therapists say Heath is an inspiration to everyone at the rehab center. Makes me warm inside. <laughs> um, I'm happy to see him progress, and I mean, it gives me a reason to, to come to work and do what I do when I see patients like him progress very well. Doctors can't say for sure why Heath was stricken with Guillain-Barre syndrome, but as he continues to recover and improve, he set a goal of running a full marathon by the end of this year. His doctors and therapists say Heath is on track to do just that. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.